Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Vikings. Huh, I, I wonder who we're going to focus on. I feel like there's like three main storylines or places with storylines right now. Um, and uh, so I'm kind of wondering if we're just going to evenly focus on all of them, if one of them's going to get more in depth in, in the next couple of episodes. Um, we still have a few episodes left, you know, we're not super close to the end. So, and I feel like there's a lot of stuff to address in this time that we have left. So I'm kind of interested just to see what gets focused on in this episode. I'm also interested to see if I will, you know, see Floki. I just, you know, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. It would be nice if he showed up somewhere. I'm just saying. Let's get into it. Unfortunately, the prince is otherwise engaged. He is having a meeting with Prince Igor and your brother, Vizer. May I not join them? I have no orders to permit that. Oh! Oh, oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. I don't... I don't think you really want to piss off Ivor. Yeah, oh. Mm-mm. I'll tell you what I want. I want access to Prince Eagle and Prince Oleg. No, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. There are things he ought to know. Oh, See, no, 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 no. You don't trust me, Ivor. You've never trusted me. Oh. A fool. It's Oleg who thinks you're a fool. Well, it was me. Not like you, Ivor. You always treated me like shit. Well. You are my brother. What are you? Huh? Oh! Sad boy! Whoa! Are you? Wait, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Fitzer, I, okay, there's just a lot. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of animosity. Honestly, they kind of need to get this out. Okay, I have a lot of thoughts on everything that just transpired. I hope that Fitzirk is fucking with Oleg. Though he has reason to not be super about Ivor, right? But I'm just, I don't know, I have a lot of thoughts. We'll wait to the end of the episode. <laughs> I intend to stand. I do so in honor of my late husband. I am not Björn's only widow. Let Ingrid tell you her intentions. Wow, that was actually kind of nice of her. The true descendant of Björn Ironside, Ragnar Lothbrok, and our god Odin. I too will fight for Katkat. Can I ask you, who do you mean to support in this election? Oh, yep, put him on the spot. I have no ambition or desire to rule. Ah, uh, that is bullshit. Sorry, but oh yeah, okay. <laughs> ah, she's looking at him like fuck you. It set itself free. The serpent sunk once more. I wish you hadn't told me that story. Oh. I worry about you, my dear. About me. Why do you worry about me? I didn't mean to say that. But there is dangerous. Oh boy. He might be losing it a little bit. You have a soft spot for the creep, I understand. Uh-oh. You love that creep? Of course not. I love you. Oh. You still love me, don't you? Oh, I feel really unsettled right now. I have harsh thoughts about you. Poor 
Which, my friend, I ask your forgiveness. Um, okay. Vitzer okay. wasn't always so kind. I believe that he loves and hates you in equal measure. I, that's fair. If you like, I will have him killed. Ah! I don't think I ever wants that. If anyone kills him, it should be me. Oh, that's nice. My brother's privilege. Brotherly love. how this goes because I feel like Gunhild I feel like she would be a better leader I hope I can rely on your support mm. but I feel like her having Bjorn's son you know in, in quotes but everybody believes it's Bjorn's son I think that that's maybe you know. it's gonna be interesting but I think there's there's more issues at hand right now. Oh, girl, you are playing with fire. Or I don't know. I don't know if I trust you. Please, dear Serenity. Oh, shit. Okay. No, sweetie, no. You need to stop. Don't get addicted again. Well, he might already be. He asked me if I wanted to have you killed. I could have said yes. Somehow we have to spirit Prince Igor out of here and join with Prince Deer's army in Novgorod. Since it's my fate to kill you, it makes sense for me to stay with you, I suppose. Christian faith is new here. Oh shit. It will create huge excitement throughout the town. When does the bishop arrive? Tomorrow. And the ceremony is the day after. Okay, well here we go. Everybody hang the fuck on. I'm not. Oh boy. the fuck on I'm not in the mood oh god oh god oh god oh god where oh my god no 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 oh come on Be kidding me with that. Oh my god. Oh, it seems so damn even. Yup. You better start sounding shit. What is it? Yeah, I don't think so. Who is it? No, don't tell me. Don't tell me no! No, no, don't want it. I don't. There he, I see, I see him. Little shit. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. I was a friend of Pure and Iron Size. I had a relationship with his beautiful mother, Lagertha. I actually feel like this is a homecoming. 
do you? Things change. I came to claim what is rightly mine. What? What it? I shall see what to do with you. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Because I was, and I still am, the elected king of all Norway. I am still your king. I am still your king. I am still your king. Okay, please don't point to everyone. It's gonna be very time consuming. And I promise to be. Oh. I'll be here then. Oh, just a, oh, just taking a random child. We just have to learn to love each other. Oh, oh. Oh, I hate everything. What do you want? Oh boy. Do not touch her. You want to be just like Pian. You want to have everything that Pian had. Is there anything wrong to aspire to be like one's hero? No, oh, stop it. I was always fighting against Pian. I want people to love me as much as they loved him. That's, that really is the tea, isn't it? I am determined. But between the three of us, we will forge the future of good. Great. Everyone's super excited. Woo! Look at her. Oh, well, mm -mm. she's not having it. She's not having it. And today you must do everything we tell you. Without any question. You do understand that, don't you? I think he does. Uh oh. Oh, man. Brothers working together. Isn't it so lovely? I am so fucking nervous. And I feel like they're about to end the episode. Oh, God. Oh, God. We all got somewhere else we want to be. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh, Hine, where is Prince Igor? Where indeed? Yeah, I mean, I don't mean to, but like, we gotta- Oh! Oh! You gotta go, you gotta go. Hop back on, everybody's in. Got the full squad. Mitzark, get on the fucking thing! Oh my god! My heart can't take this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Okay, I feel like it's about to really amp up in the next episode with all of this stuff going on. Okay, um, oh my god. I feel like there's a lot, there's a lot to really talk about. The first thing that I want to say is just, I mean, Torvi, is this, like, can she get a break or something? Like, I'm just, ay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know that, I feel like that storyline's still unfolding a little bit, but <sighs> man, it, it was really, um, I, I don't know. I, I just felt very sudden as soon as, you know, the, the, the little girl and I'm forgetting her name and I apologize for that, but, um, the, when, when she was kind of seeing the monster and everything like that, I was like, oh God, no, 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 no. Like, that's when I was a little bit concerned for her well-being, basically. Oh, no, no, no. I had just... I felt like that whole part of the episode was just like, let's just throw in some tragedy for everyone. Isn't that great? Um... And you know, I mean, it does uh, kind of show the harsh realities of being at sea and everything like that, but oh my God, I just wasn't really expecting that um, when I started this episode, you know what I mean? Um, all right, let's talk about Catacat for a second because 
I have to be completely honest. I'm not like, I know that Harold has fans, so I'm not trying to shit on a, anybody's favorite character. Like, I totally get, you know, but like, I, I'm not thrilled. I, you know, I'm not surprised, <laughs> but I'm not thrilled. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see how this goes as time goes on. Part of me really hopes that Gunhild and Ingrid kind of band together um, against him. However, I don't think that's going to happen. Not because I don't think that they would band together, but just because, you know, I feel like, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like Harold's, Harold's here, here to stay. <laughs> to just, oh my god. Oh, I do like that they are putting a huge spotlight on how much it seems like Harold was and, you know, is actually very jealous of Bjorn or like kind of wanted, you know, what he had in a lot of regards. There was a, you know, um, Bjorn struggled a lot with wanting to lead and wanting, you know, like his wants and needs in life. And he, he ended up, you know, um, having a quite a, quite a legacy and everything like that. But, you know, I, I don't think like being adored as the one and only king was really super important to him. So it's kind of just interesting. I, and I do think it's really important to Harold. You know, he is an ambitious man and it kind of seemed like I can understand where that, that, you know, frustration comes from where, where Bjorn got a lot of glory and, and, and stuff like that, where he didn't really crave it too much. Um, not in the same way, I guess is the best way to put it. So that I found that, that to be kind of interesting they're, they're focusing on that a little bit. Him just going on being like, I loved Bjorn, like, no, okay. <laughs> like, um, I feel very bad for Ingrid and that whole situation. Um, I'm not really looking forward to whatever scenes that they have in the future. You know, I think Harold kind of thinks like, oh, we're just all going to be some like super happy family now. Um, and I just, I, I don't think it's going to go that way, but I, I will say I'm not entirely sure how it's going to go. Uh, you know what sucks? I was actually really interested in who the people were going to pick between Gunhild and Ingrid, because I felt like, I think like Gunhild has definitely proven herself on the battlefield and stuff like that. And so I feel like a lot of people respect that, but you know, um, Ingrid having, you know, being pregnant, I, I think kind of throws a wrench into that. Really, I think this truly did mess up Eric's plan, though. I will say that, you know, he really, I think, got kind of fucked in this. But, um, you know, I didn't trust him anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> like, I'm sure it's not the last we'll see of him, but, you know, I think um, really threw a wrench into... I wonder if he was going to kind of, like wait to see where the majority was going and then cast his vote. I don't know. Sorry. Um, maybe. Okay. So let's talk about Ivor and Vitzerk and just a whole lot of stuff going on over there. Um, 
Okay. You know, I I just have to say, Oleg, I don't know. I don't know. I think you're getting outsmarted right now. And, like, everybody's banding again. I was, like, worried. I was worried that his wife was, like, kind of playing Ivor. And, like, you know, I didn't... I wasn't 100% sure on that fact, but it was a concern I had. Like, especially with the last episode, I'm like, I don't know if I trust her. Like... I don't know. So it seems like she's all on board with Team Ivor and his like, you know, whatever, whatever the squad is. I kind of live for it. I have to be honest. I kind of live for it. But, um, you know, I'm kind of glad that we can actually <laughs> sort of um, trust her. I do like Ivor's relationship with Igor, and I hope that this all goes well. I'm very interested to see the next episode because I think we'll we'll find out more um, and see if they get away with it and if they successfully. I mean, take Oleg out. It will be interesting to see. But the main thing that I loved the most about this episode was them addressing stuff between Ivor and Fitzirk. I do not believe that they, you know, addressed everything, but I like, weirdly loved it, you know, like, because I know that they fought and everything like that. And there's a lot of stuff to, um, Kind of unpack and that, but there's just a lot between the two of them obviously and the way I see it and I know that I, I have to be honest I know that there's a lot of people who might be watching this and and you know there's gonna be uh, the people who like are super on one side or the other and I, I know people are very passionate about these characters and who's in the right and who's in the wrong and everything like that. But I kind of want to more focus on like their relationship and if they're able to repair, you know, anything. It seems like they're kind of sort of on their way there, but not, it, it was just really interesting because that whole scene, I was just like, wow, both of them are just, because if it, it if it's the case that Fitzirk puts trust in Oleg over Ivor, which, you know, I don't think in the end he really did, but in the beginning, you know, it kind of was seeming that way specifically to Ivor, so what's kind of going on with that? Um, you know, uh, it, it's more so I was concerned in the sense that, like, let's be clear, Oleg does not have your best interests at heart. Now, something to be noted. It makes sense why Fitzirk would think Ivor doesn't have his best interests at heart. Like, as much as I do personally believe that Ivor has learned a lot in recent times and since he's ruled, um, you know, and, and since he's done some let's just say not nice things, um, specifically to Fitzerk. I, I think, you know, you can't really blame him for not having a, a ton of trust in Ivor. You know, it's, it, even, even though, um, even though I, I do think that in his heart, Ivor doesn't really, he doesn't want to hurt Fitzirk and he doesn't, I don't think he really wants to, he has a better attitude towards his brother than he once did, right? I think that that's fair to say maybe, um, but that doesn't mean that, you know, 
Vitzerk really needs to accept that or get over it or, you know, there's a lot of animosity. So I get it. But I love exploring it. That was, it was kind of my favorite part because I love them kind of talking about these things. And there's, there's certain things that we don't, we as an audience do not want to see Fitzer get used again. Or, well, maybe some of you don't care. I mean, it's fair, I guess. But, like, I just, you know, I, I feel like we don't want to see him get used again. We don't want him to fall into addiction. Like, there are certain things that we would love to see for his character. And I hope, I hope that the, the show does a, a, a pretty good job of, of displaying that. But I think it's, it, it's a really interesting. And there is a lot of history between these two brothers. And that fight, you know, I said it at the time, but like kind of needed, maybe needed to happen. If they are going to align with each other and actually try to like do something with all of this shit going on and actually put maybe not full trust into each other, but enough trust to accomplish what they need to accomplish. There's, you know, some stuff needs to get out. And I don't think that they're really going to sit down and have a huge therapy ses session. So I guess fighting is how they're going to do it. <laughs> um, but that was my favorite part of the episode and seeing their relationship. Um, you know, um... It's still unfolding. I think we'll, we'll still, I mean, technically probably a lot of you have more perspective on their relationship as brothers um, because you finished the season. So you know what direction it's going in, but I'm, I'm very curious. I hope that they, they keep touching on that because I think it's one of the things that I think should be focused on for the last few episodes is, is their relationship and, and where it's going to go and who, if they can actually work together, are they just buying time until one can kill the other? I mean, it's just, there's so many ways that this can go. Um, so, you know, I think that, um, I, I like that a lot and, and I like them exploring it a lot. So yeah, that was my favorite part of the episode even though there was a lot of tension and animosity coming out. Anyway, you guys can let me know what you guys think of that. But um, yeah, I think that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.